What's going on, y'all? Name is Ballin' One here. And uh, if y'all hear the TV in the background, sorry about that. Y'all just gonna have to hear it. But uh, this is my review of Dragon Gate's Kobe Pro Wrestling Festival for this year. And uh, first off, I'd like to say thanks to AJ Orton 34, even though I, I, in the end I didn't need his links. You know, but thanks for offering them. I ended up watching this show a different way. Um, yeah, this was, this was amazing, honestly. Like, I get us a nine. Not many people are probably going to go that high, but I, I don't care. Like, the last two matches are, like, incredible. Like, everybody needs to see those matches. And it's also, in my opinion, another great match on here. But not everybody agree with that. So, let's get started. First match on the card with the beat drunkards of KZ. Uh, Kenshiro Arai. Yayushi Kanda. Versus uh, World One of Naoki Tanisaki, Katoka, and Mark Haskins. Uh, this was, you know, this was fun. It wasn't a great opener by no stretch, but it was a fun match. You know, it wasn't anything, you know, horrible or anything like that. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed it. Uh, two and a half stars. Wasn't bad. Next, we had an extremely funny match between Abdullah the Butcher, Akibono, versus, and, and Akibono. I'm pretty sure y'all know who both of those guys are. Versus Stalker, Stalker Ichikawa, Sachihiko Machine, <coughs> Jackson, Florida, and Johnson, Florida. Um, yeah, all four of those guys are like great at comedy matches. Like Jackson, Florida, and, and Johnson, Florida. If you've never seen them before, they're probably the funniest tag team on the planet. Um, you know, it's a funny match. I, I give it like a star. I mean, it, it was just funny though. Like it wasn't really a great match or a good match. It was just very funny. Like, you will laugh a bunch. Uh, I will say that, um, yeah, one, one good thing about the show, which is a great thing about all Dragon Gate shows, is that in between every match, they have a video package letting you know why the match takes place. Gabe Sapolsky. I know you don't have time to do that, but that is one of the things that makes Dragon Gate in Japan so great because the storylines are great. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright, uh, next we got a fatal four way. Well, not a fatal four. What am I talking about? A four way ta elimination tag match between World One of Pac and uh, Naruki Doi, uh, the Warriors of Dragon Kid and Ryo Saito, uh, Cyber Kong and Kagitor of uh, Kamikaze, and uh, Tozawa King Guy and Nosawa Ron Guy of wherever. <laughs> but, um,. This is a very good match. A whole lot of fun. Uh, I wish the, the, the end when it came down to Saito and Pac and Dragon Kid and uh, the real Saito. I wish that was longer because, my God, like, Saito and, uh, and Doi had, or well, not Saito, uh, Dragon Kid and Doi have so much chemistry. Like, it's ridiculous. And that would have been so nuts. But uh, it didn't work out that way. Uh, you know, three and a half stars, I guess. This match was a, a whole hell of a lot of fun. A ton of fun. Right, then, uh, next we had Open the Triangle Gate Championship between Seema, Gamma, and Ginky Horiguchi of the Warriors versus Black Buffalo, Tiger's Mask, and the Bodyguard of uh, Osaka Pro. Um, I'd never seen the Bodyguard before. I've seen Black Buffalo and Tiger's Mask before, but never seen the Bodyguard. And he's alright just to be a big man. He wasn't bad. Uh, this was fun also. Like, uh, Horiguchi is my favorite guy in Dragon Gate, period. And I had a lot of fun with this match. I thought, you know, like this show in general, like it was like almost four hours long. But I actually watched it in one sitting. That's just me. I'm probably the only person on here that watched it in one sitting. You know what I mean? Like, or well, everything except the main event. And the only reason I had to cut off the main event is because I had something I had to do. But I wanted to watch it, you know what I mean? But besides that, I watched the rest of the show, <laughs> except the main event. Um, and then I watched it later. Uh, yeah, this was a fun match. Uh, three and a quarter stars. You know, it wasn't great, but it still was a fun match. Uh, the next we had, in my opinion, a great match. No one's going to agree, though. Kate Ness and Susumu Yokosuka versus Masaki Mochizuki and Don Fuji. I'm not even a fan of Don Fuji. I think the guy's terrible. But uh, this match was great. Like, I had, like... The last few minutes of this is crazy. Um, four stars. I had a lot of fun watching it. Not much else I can say. Great. 
then we had possibly the match of the year. Like, if you watch the show for one reason, just one reason, it should be for this match. Shingo Takagi and BB Hulk, hair versus hair. I'm not going to spoil the winner, but, uh, yo, this match right here, like, if, you, if you've if you been a long time follower of my videos, like, I was the only person in 2008, pretty much, to say, like, they had one of the top five matches of 2008, because they did, but, uh, like, this match was maybe a little bit better than that, like, honestly, or on the same level, like, this match was incredible, like, towards the end, like, the fighting spirit was ridiculous, like, and it all made sense, if you've been watching the Infinities, it all made sense towards the end, the only reason I don't get his five stars is because there was two things that bothered me, at the beginning, uh, you know, it just wasn't as intense as I wanted it to be, and that's just a little nitpick, and the second thing is BB Hulk took a weird spot on his knee, like a nasty spot, and like he sold it for like a few a few seconds, but then he didn't sell it anymore in the match. That just bothered me a little bit. But aside from that, like, whew, like this is why everybody rags on Dragon Gate USA. Like honestly, shit like this. Like, what if they put on? Well, Davy and I and I Shingo, my bad. I was gonna say when they put on a singles match, this good, but like. It's been a while, though, you know what I mean? It's been since that, pretty much, like, this match was ridiculous. Like, y'all need to see this, like, immediately. Four and three quarter stars, like, it's probably my third best match of the year, like, right now, you know. You know, I had, it, had Tyler and uh, Davey hadn't existed, and, you know, Taker and Michaels never happened, this would be my match of the year, you know. Yeah. And it, it jumped a lot to get right there. So let's just put it like that. You need to see that match. ASAP. All right. Uh, then we had the open dream gate title match between Masato Yoshino and Yamato. Um, I'm going to spoil this because I was hyped when it happened. Congrats to Yoshino because homie's been putting in work since I like I started watching Dragon Gate around, what, late 05? Like, is when I started watching. And he was one of the first people to catch my eye, like him and Horiguchi. And, uh, you know, I was like, man, well, you know, I, 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 I never see him in title matches. I'm like, you know, why, why he don't ever get no, no big title shot? You know, he always was like a mid-card dude. And I'm like, but, he, you know, he puts on some of the best matches. But, man, this match is crazy. Like, on the only thing I didn't like about it, it was kind of slow in the beginning. But, like, the last five minutes of this match are ridiculous. Like, ri ridiculous. Like, it, it's this one lightning spiral. You, you got to see it. He, I, that's all I'm saying. Got, <laughs> like, the, the last five minutes of this are nuts. You know, four and a quarter stars. All in all, I get a show with nine. Go out of your way to see this. Like, amazing show. Um, and one other thing. Uh, in case you know, if you've been watching my other videos, you know I have a comic book account. Uh, more videos on that coming soon. I just can't think of things to talk about. I do have one thing I do want to talk about. I'll probably do a video on that. Uh, probably tomorrow. But, um, I wanted to start an anime account. <laughs> because, uh, lately I've been watching a ton of anime. So, um, unless y'all want me to actually do those reviews on here, you know, I'll probably be making another account. I'll keep y'all posted. I, I, I want to know, like, you know, like, but not what I want to know. I want to, like, review. It's three shows right now that I want to review because I keep talking about them and yet nobody pays me any attention. So I'm going to go on YouTube <laughs> and post a review of all three of these shows so more people pay attention. But, um, yeah, I'm a geek. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.